This tutorial is a nice way to ease into creating interactions and animations. In this projector scene we will set up an animation that starts when the scene loads, showing off the lens rotation. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to check the pivot points of the objects that will be animated, like in this case, the lens and focus rings. When it rotates, it does so around the pivot point. If the pivot point is off, the rotation will be off too. Change the pivot by right-clicking and dragging the gizmo or double-clicking the gizmo pivot to reposition it automatically. In the next step, open the Animate tab. Rename the animation to Idle. Reposition the playhead and select the first focus ring. Change the gizmo orientation to local and rotate the object. It will automatically create a keyframe. Add additional keyframes to make the animation more dynamic. Do the same for the second focus ring. Now, select a second front lens from the project menu. Reposition the playhead on the timeline and create a keyframe for animation. Play the animation by pressing a spacebar on your keyboard, but make sure that the mouse cursor is in the timeline area when you press it. Set the animation to ping pong. Make sure all keyframes are set to Ease Auto. You can always go back and edit keyframes. Drag the playhead and examine the animation in detail. If you don't like the results, you can remove the keyframe. If the position of the playhead is on an already created keyframe, when you change the transformation, it will overwrite the keyframe. Next, open the Interact tab. Create a new interaction and rename it. Make sure the trigger is set on load. Now, add a new action and choose animation. Choose the animation we just created. Open the preview mode and make sure everything works as it should. Ready to share or embed this project. Press the share button in the top right corner. When the changes are synchronized, copy the link. You can send it to anyone and it can be opened on any device, including mobile.